My name is Mark Lind and I play in a band from Boston called the Ducky Boys. Um, we've been doing that for about 12 years on and off. We played a show in 1997 with um, the Dictators in Connecticut and Handsome Dick Manitoba, the lead singer, went on to explain an elaborate legend which um, kind of makes it cool because you know if it's if it's accurate then wow but if it's not it's just kind of increases the, the notoriety of the name but he said that um, he grew up in the neighborhoods where the original gang came from and that um, they were named after a hitman or a leg breaker or something like that who had the last name I believe he said it was Ducci um, or something that sounds like that and um, he said that it was like a phonetic spelling of it they just changed it because it sounded like Ducky, Ducci, whatever. And um, according to him, he said that the guy had, as a gesture to his, the powers that be in the organization, he had cut out his tongue. And that's why in the movie they didn't talk. I don't know. I just thought they didn't talk because they were badass. <laughs> what the f are they talking about? The Ducky Boys were formed in the beginning of the 60s. Four kids, aged 11 to 13, started to hang around in Bronx Park around Twin Lakes, which was eventually referred to as the Ducky. There were two sets of brothers, Jimmy and Frankie Byrne, and my younger brothers, Biff and Jerry, and they used to fish and ride their bikes around the lake. There was another group of older guys and girls, 18 to about 20 years old, who used to hunt birds and rabbits with slingshots in the park. I remember Bobby and Terry being in that group. They were teenage troublemakers with nothing better to do. These older guys started messing with the kids and eventually threw one of their bikes into the lake. The kids fought back valiantly, but the age difference was too much for them. Jamie V, a girlfriend of one of the older guys, felt bad for the kids and stopped the older guys from picking on the younger kids. The kids all developed crushes on Jamie, and she'd look out for them. From that day forward, she was dubbed the Queen of the Ducky, and she called the kids her Ducky Boys, and it just grew from there. So originally it started out with a different crowd, a little bit older crowd, and then the younger guys came, because as they went into the service, more and more younger guys started coming, and eventually, that's how it started, people from 198, more people from up here on 24th Street started coming down. But it mostly started, I can't remember, what's the name of the Catholic school up here? A Lady of Angels? St. Uh, Say No, so not St. St. Brendan's. A lot of original the girls were from St. Brendan's and the guys were from St. Brendan's or PSA, the Rady and, and stuff. Then the, the people from 198 started coming down. And from wherever else they would start coming. Or Jack the Cool Cat moved up from uh, 149th Street and he was on a concourse and stuff like that. That's how it started. It started more with the with a different crowd and the change for younger guys. Hey. Because of, uh, you know, the lakes, the twin lakes, there were a lot of ducks down there, so they used to call it the duck pond. Only because we hung out at the duck pond and somebody started calling us the ducky gang. I think one of the cops up on the corner was some, oh, the ducky gang, the ducky gang. We wanted ducky, we were just guys hanging out, we'd build a fire at night and we'd drink a lot. 